Greetings folks, I have an amazing piece of technology to show you today. This is the R9 RXSR Pilot Flight Controller from FR Sky. It's a flight control board based on the F765 processor uh, and it has INAV 2.6 preloaded. This is very, very early. Uh, 2.6 isn't even widely available yet. So it's kind of very, very hot off the press. So being a, an F765 based flight controller, it has one megabyte of flash memory, 512 kilobytes of RAM, so it can run RDPilot, Betaflight, iNav of course. It also has FR Sky's F-Port 2 capability, and it has the graphic FR Sky OSD, which will be nice to check out. So what are the other differences? Uh, you can see I'm holding a, an R9 antenna there, 900 megahertz or 915 where I am. And that's because you can buy it with the R9 receiver or the RXSR receiver mounted onto the board. So that's a really neat way of sort of saving space uh, and having a direct connection between the receiver and the board. Of course, that means that you're gonna to have to route your antenna somewhere close to the board. It, but you don't have to use that receiver. You can, you can also use any uh, F-Port 2 receiver or any S-Bus receiver via normal UART connection as well. So very, very versatile, extremely powerful. So what's the point of the uh, F765 processor? Uh, well, it's bigger, faster, more inputs and outputs, can handle all that extra processing, uh, probably way overkill for most planes that we fly. Uh, but I guess with robotics and sort of advanced quads, uh, that sort of stuff might make a difference. What it does mean is that we can plug lots of different things in and uh, operate lots and lots of different things as well. It has an ICM20602 IMU, that's the gyros and the accelerometers. That's similar to the Matek F765, uh, uh, that's an option on that board. Has a different barometer, it's the SPL06 barometer, which is meant to be very precise, I believe. And it has an SPI bus connector, which means you can connect an external IMU for uh, an external, externally mounted gyro and accelerometer board. SD card slot, has an inbuilt buzzer, 12 PWM outputs, so that's two motors and 10 servos it can control. Just imagine using all of those servos. Six UARTs, uh, and you can connect S bus to any of them and set it up, invert it via INAV. I squared C bus, uh, SPI bus, as I said. It can take uh, three to 12 S, and it also has uh, four onboard BECs for servos and cameras, both with selectable voltage. Pretty impressive stuff. What else do we get? We also get, this is the R9 version, uh, because the RXSR version wasn't quite ready when they wanted to send it to me. It's a pity because I would have used that one more than the R9. We get a little manual for the R9 receiver and for the pilot flight control board. We get the lovely colored pin sets, which I really like. Uh, we get a input out. Uh, we get a, a video cable for video transmitter and uh, camera, and that plugs into the little connector there, which is a really neat idea. Also has UART control for the video transmitter, and an XT60 plug and the uh, mounting bolts. Now, as I said before, it's um, preloaded with INAV 2.6, which isn't publicly released yet. So I had to, uh, with the help of the people over on the INAV Fixed Wing Facebook group, find the uh, 2.6 unreleased version of the configurator so, so that I could connect it up and uh, configure it the way I wanted. If we compare it to the Matek F765, uh, it's a little bit larger footprint, um, sort of the same thickness, uh, but there's sort of easier access to all the pins around the side here. And you don't have to solder the top deck onto the bottom deck because there's a sort of a connector. This little connector here just plugs straight in. So you just push them together, a bit like the uh, Matek F uh, 
411 WSE board. There we go, that connects together. That's connected top deck to bottom deck. Let's have a closer look. I have to say I absolutely love flight control boards. I actually like sort of looking at them and uh, setting them up more than actually using them probably. Uh, I just think they're such brilliant pieces of technology. And uh, especially Matek and this FR Sky one, they're just beautifully built. So there's a the little uh, SD card slot, I think. Let's put them back together. Actually, let's look at the bottom here. We have S1 and S2 here for the ESC signal, uh, UART1, that's RX8 and 5 volts. ESC pads, really nice big pads too, uh, battery pads there. And this stuff is too small for me to see, even with my close-up glasses. Let's see. So these are the little voltage uh, pads that you bridge if you want to change the voltage for the cameras. That's uh, going from 5 to 9 volts if you uh, bridge that one for the video. Uh, this is uh, bridge that one and the servo voltage goes up to 7.2. Bridge this one and the servo voltage goes up to 6. If you do both of them you go up to 8.1 volts. Uh, so this is UART2 here, uh, analog in 1 and 2. Uh, I2C, that's the DA3 and CL3. Video in, uh, video out and power for the video or you can go through the, the cable into this connector here which is a neat way to do it. UART7, UART5, that's TX8 there. Then these are, these are all the servo connections, 10 servo outs and uh, we have uh, UART3 on these two pins as well. It's actually uh, a lot more clear on the back there that shows you where everything gets connected. Current sensor 150 amp maximum uh, and th these are the uh, BECs, 5 volt BECs for the flight control board, uh, the VS and the VV, that's what you decide for servos or uh, video camera and uh, transmitter. So that's pretty incredible, that is an amazing flight control board. Time now to solder it up and check out this uh, graphic OSD which I'm quite looking forward to. I'll also take off the R9 receiver and uh, use an S bus or an F2, uh, an F port receiver of my own and we'll see how we go. As I said this is amazing technology way beyond what we'd normally need for just flying a, a, a little five channel plane but uh, opens up the possibilities for robotics and uh, much more complicated <coughs> mission controlled planes and stuff like that. Just incredible. Okay, thanks for watching and in the next video I'll uh, have it on the plane and we'll take it for a fly.